For more than two decades, July 3rd has been the day for Altamont Springs to celebrate our nation's birthday. And Monday, thousands are expected to pack Cranes Roost Park again to hear music and the, see those fireworks, of course. West 2's Dave McDaniel looks at the safety measures in place for the large crowd expected for Red Hot and Boom and how future celebrations may look a little different. It's the longest show in Florida. It is the largest show in Florida, and we think it's the best show in Florida. Monday, July 3rd will be the 26th Red Hot and Boom. Years of experience of putting on a big show with safety in mind. So safety is our number one priority. 18 different agencies from across central Florida will be on hand Monday afternoon and evening. A large presence of law enforcement officer throughout the officers throughout the event. We have uh, local, state, and federal um, officers that will be assisting. And as usual, heat-related illness will be top of mind. We're looking at temperatures of 96 degrees. That does not include the feels like temperature. So we're looking at probably over 100 degrees. When it comes to beating the heat at an hour outdoor event hydration of course is the key but it's important to not wait until the day of the event we're asking people to start hydrating the day before if you're starting to drink water as you get to the event you're too late you're going to be dehydrated you're going to become a patient for us medical tents will be on site emts and paramedics will roam the crowd just in case a crowd estimated to be 150,000 people at cranes roost itself another 100 grand within a mile and a half when everybody in the region to come out this is probably going to be the last of this type of red hot and boom. It's going to be gigantic. While hyping up the 2023 show, the city manager pointed to development plans for Crane's Roost in Uptown Altamont that will likely impact the event moving forward. Over the next couple of years, you're going to see a good deal of construction uh, in the Uptown, uh, the center of Uptown in Crane's Roost, and that's just going to require us to grow and grow in a different direction. His hopes for this event? Bring the best of you. If everybody brings the best of themselves, it'll be a great event. In Altamont Springs, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. The list of what you can bring to Red Hot and Boom and what you can't can be found on WESH.com, so be sure to check it out. <laughs>